All right, hey guys, we're gonna talk about the uh, few of our full suspension offerings at Luna. Uh, we have the, like the base model is gonna be like the Gravity FSX 27.5. And then when you go up from there, you've got the KHS 650 7200. And then if you wanna go even higher end, we've got the KHS 650 7500. And there's obviously, you know, a little difference in each bike as far as components. But what we're going to talk about today is just the suspension. And when you get into a bike like the Gravity, um, basically this is your bottom of the line base model suspension. Um, it's great for taking up some of the hits on the street, but you're not going to take it off road. You don't want to you know, do any crazy downhill on this. Um, and I'll kind of work the suspension. Basically it's a preloaded setup. So it's, it's just spring, you can adjust preload only. There's no air pressure that can be adjusted on this for rider weight or anything like that. And as you can see, it's very springy. You can lock it out. So right now it's open. Right now it's locked out. And on the rear, also very springy. No air adjustment again. Just kind of show you guys try and bounce on it a little bit. but you're not gonna do any racing with this. No off-roading. Or, or no fast off-roading anyway. Then you have the 650-7200. Definitely a step up. This one has all air-loaded suspension, so you can adjust it to the rider weight. You can set the sag, all that good stuff. And as you can see, if you uh, compress this, it's a much smoother action. This one also has dropper seat post, which is nice on a full suspension. And if we balance on it, you can see it's a much smoother action. And then if we go up to the top of the line, You got the 650-7500. So again, you can adjust the air for the rider weight. You can adjust the sag. And this one, I believe, has uh, this has the lockout so that you can do um, transitional adjustments. And so if you hit the levers up here, it'll adjust how stiff the suspension is. So you can see right here, very smooth action. Fox, really nice stuff. Very smooth again. Dropper seat post. This one's our top of the line. It's got the, the nicest suspension, so if you're really hardcore, you're gonna wanna go with something like this. This one's set up pretty soft right now, but you can see it's a very smooth suspension. Really good for off-road. How, how high could you jump off with that thing? How high could some of our shop guys jump with this? Yeah, 12 feet. Yeah, probably. Probably 12 feet. How high do you think you could jump off this guy? Yeah, I bet you could get about eight out of that one. Is there, is there any difference in the inches of suspension? Um. You know what, I don't think, I think this one is a little bit more travel. Uh, let me see, what is this? It doesn't say on it, but I think this one's a, I don't know, I'd have to look it up. I don't know the specs off that. Yeah, but I don't know what the length is. This one you could jump, you know, 100 feet if you don't mind exploding the bicycle. No, I, I, I would not jump this bike at all. Not jump at all? No. I mean, it depends on how hardcore you are, but it's, it's my opinion, this is more uh, mild, like dirt trails, not jumping. Not even a couple of feet. Maybe like three inches. 
right. But yeah, so next video, we'll take them out on the trail and do a little testing. And then we can see how high you can jump this bike. Are you going to jump it? Sure. <laughs> well, right. I'll take it three inches. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you.